All right, what's up, y'all? So it's been forever since I posted, and I know that, and I'm trying to do better, but I always say that, and I never do better. I'm out here today on a food plot that I planted straight by our house, and I just planted it because I was like, might as well. We cleared out a little spot in these woods here. This was all just trees before and pushed them all up in here. Now we have this little food plot. So I planted it in soybeans early season. Planted soybeans july or august i don't know but they came up real good but the deer have just pretty much clipped them all off and it's early october i know it's probably not gonna do much good to plant it again but i am gonna plant it again with just clover and maybe some throw and grow just because why not i mean it's probably not hardly gonna grow but i can run water back here and hopefully it'll put a little bit of green in here because there's deer in here there's plenty of deer in here but they don't have a whole lot to eat so i'm gonna just what I'm gonna do, got the, got the leaf blower. I'm gonna just blow all these leaves out of here and come back here with the hose, water it, get it real wet in here, um, and then come back and plant it. And yeah, hopefully we can get some green in here, get some deer in here, or keep some deer in here. They're back here, but they ain't got a whole lot to eat right now. All right, well, I got a lot of the leaves blown out here. It's bare dirt. Over here, I didn't so much because my blower ran out of battery, so still leaves here. But I got the sprinkler going. Did have, this used to not be a clearing right here, so we had just a corn pile right here. And there was a stand in this tree right, right there. It's laying on the ground right now, but it was right up there and my brother shot a deer out of there but we're gonna move the stand probably to that tree right there right in there uh trim up around there have good cover and you're not that high you can shoot all up in here and what i want to do is we just trimmed a bunch of trees around the house so i'll probably just put a branches all up along here just in here because it's kind of open back there. I just block that off, kind of make it a little more secluded back in here. Because the deer travel from here and come across right here. And there's bedding up in over there. So they travel through here. There's this travel corridor. It's really a pinch point. This little section of woods here. So this food plot, hopefully they'll stage in here a little bit before they go to bedding there's bedding on either side so anyways i'm going to go put them branches and stuff there right now probably wait a little while to plant this probably i'm gonna let it get good and wet it's been super dry around here we haven't had rain in a long time so we're not a bunch of rain in a long time so i'm gonna let it saturate the ground the ground is extremely dry i mean you can see it's it's really dry, so I'm gonna let it saturate. My sprinkler is tripping out. Won't work right. It stops here and then just sprays it one place. Can you see the black dot? Yeah. The circle, Go the on. black dot in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Put your finger on the trigger. Can you reach the trigger right? Are you, do you have it? Yeah. Okay, don't pull the trigger yet. Line everything up. Does it look good? Is that bad? No. All right. Hit right there. You impressed with that? Yeah. 50 yards for your first time shooting a rifle. That ain't bad at all. You wanna go hunting tonight? Um, we can go hunting tonight if you want. We can? Mm-hmm. Actually? Yeah. Where at? You wanna go? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, well, we're out here. Um, got set up a little bit ago, and we actually, to get both of us up here in this climber. I brought the saddle along, but we were really pushed for time. And I don't hunt with a saddle much at all. So I was just like, I think we can both get up in here with this, in this climber. And so I 
just, we both, yeah, we managed to climb up. We're not terribly high, but we're, we're up here a little ways, overlooking some just tall pines. Got the stick stuff back behind us. And we're on a, we're set up on a lane. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good spot or not. I'm just going to sit here and hope some deer show their faces. Bat. Hang on, don't shoot, don't shoot. Just hold on. Let me make sure he's big enough. I think he's big enough. Let me make sure. Hang on. <whistles> Hang on, don't shoot. I don't know if he's big enough. Bat. Hang on, bud. Hang on, bud. Don't shoot, okay? Keep your finger off the trigger. Just wait till he turns. Side. I think I'm gonna let you kill him. Alright. Don't shoot yet. Don't don't put your finger on the trigger. I just don't know though. Wait. Bat. Can you see good? Yeah. Alright, shoot him. Chat boy, you just killed him. Yes! <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. Did they actually? I think so, yeah. Pop the gun.
we dropped him right in his tracks, dude. All right, y'all, we came home to surprise our, or surprise mom and dad, but they're gone. But Bryce was hunting tonight and he's just about to roll in. So I'll set my phone up here and see what he has to say. That is awesome. <laughs> Drop him right there. Oh, that's where my hat went. <laughs> looking for my hat. Good grief. All right, y'all. Well, we got we got him here to clean him. What did you What do you have to say about the hunt? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> really awesome. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Came out at about eighty yards or so. Trevor laid the hammer down on him, and so yeah, we were out before shooting light. We we're actually back home before shooting light ended so everything worked out perfect i was scared at first that he wasn't legal but he has to have four points on one side but yeah he's definitely legal so anyways we're gonna get him skinned up here and yeah let's go bud <laughs> 